What went wrong with Will Smith and Ang Lee's Gemini Man? Why was the promising action flick such a big box office bomb? Keep watching to learn what went wrong. Will Smith remains one of the most famous people on the planet, nearly 30 years after he first became a movie star in the mid-90s, with hits like Independence Day and Men in Black. But every career has some misfires. For Smith, arguably one of his biggest misfires from a financial standpoint came in 2019 with the ambitious action flick Gemini Man. The idea for the movie was for it to be a Will Smith versus Will Smith action throwback, with de-aging technology used to make the actor fight a younger version of himself on screen. The movie had been in development for quite some time. The combination of the right star, the right time, the right technology, and the right filmmaker, Ang Lee, finally all aligned. Unfortunately, these ingredients did not prove to be a recipe for success. What are you, 23? Arriving in theaters on October 11, 2019, the film debuted with a relatively soft $20 million on opening weekend. It finished with a mere $48.5 million domestically, to go along with a far better $124.9 million from international markets, for a $173.4 million global total. It's also worth noting that Gemini Man carried a reported production budget of $138 million, and that does not account for marketing costs. Gemini Man went up against Joker in its second weekend, with that film serving as a gigantic box office surprise and going on to earn more than $1 billion worldwide. The likes of The Addams Family and Downton Abbey also finished in the top 10 that weekend. All of these big hits served as hurdles for Gemini Man. The critical response to Gemini Man also leaves a lot to be desired, with it gaining a mere 26% approval rating on Rotten Tomatoes. However, the audience score sits at a very respectable 83%, and that in many ways is far more important. It's also worth considering Will Smith's status as a movie star and what that has meant in recent years. It is unquestionable that Smith is still an A-lister with global recognition, who has generated nearly $7 billion at the box office during his long career. He's also starred in some gigantic hits in recent years, with Disney's Aladdin, which made $1.04 billion at the box office, ranking as his biggest movie to date. Meanwhile, Suicide Squad raked in $745 million, and Bad Boys for Life made a solid $424 million. However, Smith's successes all seem to occur when the actor was attached to pre-existing franchises. Other films he starred in which have not been attached to franchises, such as Spies in Disguise, Collateral Beauty, and Concussion, have all had a more difficult time finding an audience. This is less of a Will Smith problem and more of an industry-at-large problem. Especially in the wake of the pandemic, audiences are far more choosy about what they see in theaters. More often than not, those choices end up being franchise blockbusters or horror films. Plus, Smith's King Richard was released on HBO Max the same day it hit theaters, which undoubtedly hurt its box office potential. As Gemini Man falls into the non-franchise camp, the evidence suggests that it was always going to have a much harder time breaking through in a meaningful way with general moviegoers. Another factor that stands out when it comes to Gemini Man is the movie's hefty production budget. That $138 million price tag puts the film firmly into big blockbuster territory. That's more or less what a big superhero movie costs to make. Granted, it's not uncommon for big movies to get closer to $200 million in terms of their budgets when dealing with big franchise tentpoles. Paramount Pictures betting that big on Smith with Gemini Man was a gigantic gamble and one that didn't pay off. When it comes to hits in Hollywood, it's all relative. It almost always boils down to return on investment. If a studio invests nearly $140 million into a movie before marketing, the returns have to be massive to justify the expense. In the end, it was tough to expect that a Will Smith action movie, inventive though it may have been, could manage to justify that expense. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Slash Film videos about your favorite movies are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.